Next in sequence of obstacle limitation surfaces, today we will be covering the bulk landing surface. Before understanding the bulk landing surface, there must be concept of bulk landing. So bulk landing is a maneuver where a pilot abandons the landing and uh, he climbs away from the runway. Sometimes it may get confused with a missed approach. However, this is very pertinent to highlight that in missed approach, the aircraft remains above minimum descent altitude or the descent altitude. However, in case of bulk landing, the aircraft is below the minimum descent altitude or descent altitude and sometime the aircraft may have already made the touchdown. The bulk landing could be carried out due to maybe instable approach or maybe obstruction on runway, maybe loss of some visual references, maybe some strong crosswinds as well or uh, maybe any sort of mechanical issue and uh, sometimes maybe due to air traffic control instructions. So the bulk landing surface itself is defined as an inclined plane located at a specified distance after the threshold extending between the inner transitional surface. So it is an inclined plane, so it is having a slope of 3.33%. Once the bulk landing surface is added into our diagram, the diagram would somehow look like this. In this case, the bulk landing surface is added only for one runway. Zooming in for further details, the inner edge of the bulk landing surface would be 120 meters wide, starting from 1800 meters from threshold and has a divergence of 10% on each side. As already discussed that the slope would be 3.33% and it would have its ending at the inner horizontal surface. Or we can say that uh, the bulk landing surface has an outer edge parallel to the inner edge and located in the plane of inner horizontal surface. I hope everything was clear. Thank you.